ERT is this an emergency? This is the Johns Hopkins Capacity Command Center, and the purpose of this center is really to help manage the flow of patients into and through the hospital. The idea first uh, uh, came about when uh, we were talking about knocking a wall down between two groups that needed to talk to each other in order to make patient flow most efficient. And believe it or not, even though they needed to talk about every single patient, they would communicate through phones and faxes and emails rather than just be able to turn around and talk to each other. That's what's new and different here. It's not just the command center. It's an entirely different approach to managing day-to-day -day operation. If you really think about it, 125 years ago in 1889 when we opened the hospital, the founding uh, partners and fathers and, and mothers of this system uh, were really here uh, groundbreaking and created a new way of delivering health care. And I think we're doing that today with this. We're really setting the stage for the next 125 years of Johns Hopkins Medicine. What GE brings to the table is two things in a, in a big way. It's their technology and taking and using our data to present information in, a, in ways that we have never historically been able to present it. ERT, a medical emergency. And it's taking data and pulling it together and giving it to me in one picture snapshot to be able to help us with predictions and be able to manage information differently. This whole center is really about patient and family-centered care. We can tailor their experience. There are a lot of people here in this center that work together. Uh, previously, they were not able to share that information as quickly or as efficiently, and now we're able to do that at, at great speed. We have to be able to manage the patients that need to be here. And so what this command center is all about when all is said and done is trying to maximize the number of patients who can have access to the incredible services that we provide here at Johns Hopkins.